What's going on YouTube? You're watching Fixed by Shaq and in today's quick video I'm gonna show you how to fix this annoying issue in here where you're trying to activate iMessage and you're facing this error in here which says iMessage activation an error occurred during activation try again or anything that looks like this such as for example waiting for activation please try again or something like that. Do not worry in today's video I'm gonna show you how to fix this issue regardless of your iPhone model. Whether you do have an old Old iPhone 6, 5 all the way to a much newer iPhone such as an iPhone 17, 16, 15, it's gonna work for you as well. Hey my name is Shaq and in this channel I help you fixing tech related issues so if you're into tech content consider subscribing here to the YouTube channel. Now please note that in most cases this is an error which is related to your internet connection. So you want to double check if your internet is working fine or not. For example your Wi-Fi or if you do have a mobile data plan if it did not expire or anything related to that. But do not worry if you've double checked that already. Do not worry, we're moving into the next step where we're going to actually check the problem. So first things first, please bring down the control center in here, tap on flight mode to deactivate all your network connection for a couple seconds and then tap it once again to deactivate flight mode. Double check if this fixes the problem that you've got. If it doesn't, simply turn off your cellular data once, wait for a couple seconds and then turn it back on real quick. Now if this didn't help fixing the problem, tap on Safari once, hop straight into google.com, there we go and next up I want you to type in here speed test okay so we want to check our speed in here to see if everything's working fine or not tap on run speed test and you want to make sure that your speed is working fine anything above 10 mbps is doing just great because some cases you do have a few settings or apps that require a minimum speed in order for it to work fine this is for security purposes for safety measures in here which has been implemented here by apple themselves because they do have a lot of requirements now if you've checked that you internet speed is doing just fine do not worry let's move into the next step where we're gonna tap here on settings scroll down tap on general real quick next up scroll down once again all the way to date and time tap on date and time and make sure that it's set to set automatically this needs to be turned on in here in order to ensure that your iMessage is activated properly because sometimes you might be in a situation where you do have a really outdated time and then iMessage for security purposes is simply blocks or things that you're using an outdated phone without a few security updates over there. So you wanna double check this and set to set automatically. Next up, you wanna go back and go all the way to language and region and make sure that you are in the correct region in here. You wanna tap on region and you wanna make sure that you select the region where you are actually located right now. It's so important to double check this before you proceed with iMessage activation. Now, if none of these steps help, do not worry, we're moving into the next step where we're gonna perform a forced restart here on our iPhone device. Now, in order to perform a forced restart here on an iPhone 8 or later models, for example, I've got an iPhone 16 Pro in here, you just need to rapidly tap on volume up and then down and then press and hold the power button. This is how it goes. One, two, pressing and holding the power button. Keep on pressing it until you see the Apple logo on your screen. So once you see the Apple logo, you're going to release the power key real quick. This is how it goes. There we go. Wait for a couple more seconds. Release the power key as soon as you see the Apple logo. Now, please note that performing a forced restart is something useful that actually reboots your phone from scratch. It actually cuts all the power sent to your motherboard by your battery and actually recalibrates everything after you've performed a few new settings on your iPhone device. So you want to double check if this actually helps fixing the problem or not. Now, if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, for example, in order to perform a forced restart, you just need to press and hold the volume down along with the power button here at the right. Press and hold until you see the Apple logo and then release the keys combination. If you do have an iPhone with a physical home button in here, such as an iPhone 6 or an iPhone 5, you simply need to press and hold the power button along with the 
physical home button in here. Press and hold continuously until you see the Apple logo and then release the keys combination. Now please note that if you do have a much older iPhone such as an iPhone 4 or 5s you do have the power button located at the top. So you're gonna press and hold the physical home button along with the power button here at the top until you see the Apple logo on your screen. Now if none of these steps helped fixing the problem that you've got what I would recommend you guys to do is to hop into settings go all the way to your Apple ID in here and then you want to scroll Scroll down and then tap here on sign out. You want to sign out from your specific iCloud and then re-log in into Win. You can tap on sign out but don't erase down here and then after a few seconds you want to re-log in into your Apple ID account. This will help you actually resetting that login thing in here that might be bugging as well. Now if this didn't help fixing the problem that you've got we're going down all the way to apps down here and then we're gonna scroll down all the way to messages under letter M. Tap once on messages in here and then you want to scroll down and make sure that iMessage is turned on. This needs to be turned on. If it's not, tap once on it to turn it on. Now next up, if you still have issues or if it's still showing in here to, that you need to wait for activation, tap on send and receive if you're able to get here and then over here you want to make sure that you actually select all these different emails and numbers to receive iMessage messages. And then here on start new configuration, try changing your number to your email because there might be an issue with your physical number. So in case there's an issue with your physical number, you're gonna try getting reached out here through your email. Now if this didn't help fixing the problem, do not worry, we're moving into the next step where I would recommend you guys to check for updates on your phone. Simply tap here on general and then tap on software updates to see if there is a pending software in here which might be causing you a bug. Okay, it's common to have bugs for example specifically if you buy new phones which come with a brand new new recently launched operating systems. It might be having bugs or security issues that might be actually contributing here for you not to actually get access to your iMessage. If this didn't help, what I would recommend you guys last is to go all the way to general, scroll down, tap on transfer or reset iPhone, tap on reset, and then reset all network settings. You want to make sure you reset all network settings. Do not worry, this will not delete anything from your phone. You won't lose any data. You just want to reset the connection activity part of your phone so you actually get access to the internet connection properly before trying to activate iMessage. This was it for today guys. I hope this video was really helpful. If you find my content useful, consider subscribing, like the video, and let me know in the comment section down below if you do have any questions or doubts. I would like to deeply thank all of you guys for supporting the YouTube channel Fixed by Shaq. We're now crossing 40,000 subscribers and this wouldn't be possible without you guys. The main aim of this channel is to help people fix tech related issues so you can save up some money and avoid paying high fees for something that you can do on your own. If you find my content useful here do not forget to subscribe, like the video and leave a comment below and also share with your friends the videos here which are in the YouTube channel because by doing so you're actually helping the channel growing and to reach out to more people and ultimately help more people fixing tech related issues. Thanks for watching Fix by Shaq. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.